How are you today, Jeremy? I'm fine, I guess. What did you do today? Um, I went to class, you know, got an A on my social paper. Um, went on campus, you know, uh, saw some Jeremy, uh, let me explain something to you. The focus of this session is to figure out what's bothering you and try to figure out what your problem is and what you even think the benefit of coming here is. Now, what is your problem? What is the problem? Okay. Okay. I know that everything in life is not easy. You know, I understand there are always going to be bumps in the road, you know? But nowadays everything's bullshit, you know? People talk about all day about love and coming together. But it's all bullshit. They just care about getting likes on Instagram and likes on Facebook. They just care about people liking them. They don't care about the message, man. I see. Let me tell you something, man. I come from probably the most worst neighborhoods from my city. And even there, they care about acceptance. Gang life is accepted. Drugs are accepted. Hell, even murder is accepted, man. And then you think about the real world, you know? Popularity, middle school, high school, hell, even college. Everybody cares about acceptance. Your job. Hell, even religion cares about acceptance, man. But not me. No, not me. I could care less about being accepted. I could care less about people even giving a shit about what I do. I could care less about anybody caring about what I do or who I am. They can all go shove it. Hmm. I don't know quite where I'm going, but I know there's some plan laid out ahead of me. People can be so mean sometimes. What seems to be the problem, Leslie? I just want everybody to like each other, that's all. I mean, that's why they have these acceptance meetings on campus, but nobody seems to give a shit. They'd rather just kick the chalk out of your hands when you just try to make a statement. I mean, I don't even know why I'm here. I mean, I run track for the school. I'm, I'm in a frat. I, I have a good steady income coming in. I mean, like, I'm, I'm accepted. Like, I have everything a guy my age will want, right? Sometimes it just, everything feels fake, you know? Like, I feel like, like sometimes it's just all make-believe, like it's not real. I, I feel like it's fake. The acceptance. Well, yeah. I mean, like, uh, ever since I can remember growing up, like, I always remember having lots and lots of friends and, and just having people that liked me all the time, but nowadays it's just... Everything just seems fake, like, it just seems like I don't, it's just bullshit. Are you happy, Richard? I guess if you say, if you were a person looking from the outside in, if you were looking at me from the outside, yeah, I look happy, I, I carry on with the front like I am happy, but I think I'm dealing with some internal issues, you know? Look, can I, can I be real with you? 
That's what we're here for. Okay, I grew up in a single parent household, okay? And I had an older brother, he never amounted to shit, though. I mean, <laughs> when I was entering my senior year in high school and everything, he, he was going to do a 10-year bid for robbery, and which he's still serving now, but, you know, I just, just with me around the house, everything just always fell on Richard, on me. Everything just fell on me. All the pressure, everything just fell on me, man. Because I was the only one around, man. My daddy ain't shit. My brother ain't shit. They never amounted to shit. I just had to excel, man. I, I had to, I, I feel like everything that I set foot at, I had to exceed. I had to be the best at it. I had to be. You sound angry. <laughs> nice to know you were listening. Nah, man, like, I think people's whole perception of love and happiness is all misconstrued nowadays. Like, for example, like, there was this girl I saw, and I happened to notice that she noticed me, and I noticed her too. But like, five minutes later, like, some frat guy walks in, and her whole attitude completely changes, man. Like, her whole perception and motive switches. <laughs> You feel like she showed some form of uh, favoritism because of his popularity? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating off the brother, you know? But at the same time, it's kind of funny to see how people's real motives are, you know? Just seeing what they really want. You know, I have conversations with people in class. And they say they talk about marriage, and I ask them what they expect from it. And they just talk about the wedding and nice white picket fence and you know what people really imagine when they get married, you know? But then you ask them about hard stuff and about really keeping a marriage together and they don't know. It's like they don't know they just made an oath before God like six months ago. Mm -hmm. And you believe in uh, sticking it out, staying true to your word. Yeah. I mean, shouldn't everybody? Shouldn't everybody? I mean, even social problems. People don't even care about that no more, the homeless. You know, you see a homeless man walk down the street, nobody cares. Nobody tries to help him out. Even equal rights. I mean, people should be where they want to be with. People should be happy, you know? But everybody tries to tear it down. It's like nobody cares. You sound very sad, Leslie. It's just... I finally found someone that understands me and accepts me. And I get ridiculed for it. And my parents hardly talk to me. Because you found love from another woman. I didn't plan it. And everyone can talk about God and religion and all that, but they're hypocrites and child molesters preaching on the pulpit. I try so hard to protest for love for everyone, and it just seems like no one cares. Well, there was one person that was nice. Remember when I was trying to write and the guy kicked my chalk away? Well, he had, there was a friend there and he made him go apologize to me. You sound confused. Maybe. Like, I meet this girl and I, and I almost, I'm almost for certain she seems almost perfect. I mean, she's beautiful, she's intelligent, but something just keep telling me like she just, she wants me for all the wrong reasons, you know? It's like I almost know for certain that she wants me for all the wrong reasons. Like, I know it for certain, but it's, it's like I don't care. It's like I just put it in the back of my mind. <laughs> They're my friends. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to start on them, man. They just, they just feel like since we got it made and stuff, they just feel like 
they can just do ignorant shit whenever they feel like they can do it, and that shit just doesn't ride. I can't always just condone it and stuff that they do, <laughs> put it like that. Oh, you feel like an odd man in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I see people get treated badly all the time. People that are not just as popular or who just don't play and got it. Whatever got it is, what is that shit? I just, I just see it all the time and it just makes me wonder from time to time, like, if I didn't have the stuff that I have and if I didn't have the credentials behind my name, would they, would they be there for me? Would they still be my friend? Would they still back me up? I don't know. I, I just get depressed thinking about stuff like that, man. Our time is up. But we can continue this tomorrow at 4 p.m. sharp. Come back then, we'll continue the discussion. What's up, man? What's up? What's going on, man? You alright? Yeah, man. Yeah, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm waiting for this guy. <laughs> Told you to be here too? Yeah, 4 p.m. He's taking forever. He's taking forever. He Dr. Home. Rosenberg. Yeah. He told me to come here at 4 p.m. Yeah, that's my appointment. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 We. Yeah. He, he told me to be here at four, four p.m. Yeah. 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 Four p.m. He told us the same thing. Yeah, he's, he's... Great. You're all here. What's going on? Come on in. Let's get started. <laughs>